In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a workout on your computer or your phone and get it over to your Garmin Edge cycling computer. On my computer, I've already got my browser open. I've gone to Garmin Connect online and it's connect.garmin.com. You've probably already been there, but if not, go set up an account and all that. So I'm logged in, a mouse over to the left. I click on training and then I go to workouts. You select the type of workout that you're gonna do. So we'll do bike and then I'm gonna click on create a workout. It's got some defaults here, a warm up, a bike, and a cool down. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave the warm up here and then I'm gonna select a duration. Most likely you're gonna go by time, distance, or lap press. I recommend doing lap press because normally you'll warm up for about 10 or 15 minutes, but you don't know exactly when you're gonna be able to start. So you may be near an intersection or you just may need to go a little bit longer than you had planned. And so the little lap button on the bottom left of your Garmin, when you click that button, if you leave this on lap press, then it'll go to your next step. So that's what I would recommend doing. And then up here on the right, I'm gonna click on add a repeat. Because when you do intervals, most of the time you're going to be doing more than one. So I'm gonna click on this little section here with the dots. I'm gonna drag it up underneath my warm up. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this bike one. I'm not gonna use that. You'll see the default for repeat is two times. We're gonna change this to three. And then I'm gonna leave this on bike. I'm gonna set my duration. Normally you'll do a time. I'm gonna do five minutes, so five colon zero zero. So that's five minutes and zero seconds. Normally you'll wanna click on add more and select your intensity. Heart rate and power is the most common. I have a power meter, a stages power meter on my gravel bike. So I'm gonna select power zone four. I'm not really gonna go into zones, but most intervals are gonna be about zone four, zone five. Zone three is tempo. Zone four you can hold for quite a while, but it's still pretty hard. And then I'm going to click on recover. Well, it's already on recover, so I'm gonna select a duration. Five minutes is what I'll do for my recovery. So again, I'll type in five and then I don't need to click on add more here because I'm just gonna spin easy. If you wanted to select an intensity, you could, so maybe you're backing it down, maybe you're doing the type of intervals where you'll go you know, zone five for a little while, and then zone four, if you wanna do those kind of, I call them crisscross intervals. So this repeat is good, so three times, and then I've got a cool down. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually add another repeat, but I want a little bit more of a recovery than five minutes. Let's say I wanna recover for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna click up here on the top right. I'm gonna to go to add a step and you've got bike right here. Let's go ahead and drag this up. And instead of bike, we're just gonna do recover. And I'm gonna do, well, let's say, let's make it three minutes. So that's a total recovery of eight minutes after your last hard effort. So the five afterwards and then an additional three. I'm gonna do an add a repeat again. So we'll click on add repeat on the top right. Let's drag it up a little bit. And then this time we're gonna repeat, let's do five times. And then we're gonna bike uh, at an intensity, well, this time for my, well, let's do time. So again, uh, let's do one minute for this one. Click on add more. Let's do an intensity of zone five. And then my recovery, we're gonna do a short recovery. We're gonna do one minute. So this repeat is going to be one minute on, one minute off, five times. So I've got my workout plan, I've got a cool down. I'm not gonna really, we'll just do lap press again. That way you can cool down as long as you want. And then when you either press your lap button or you can press the stop button when you're done, the, 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 bo the button on the bottom right of your Garmin, which is the stop. And so this looks good. So I'm gonna click on this little pencil on the top right and I'm gonna rename this to Beast Mode Intervals. Click on the little green check mark once you've got your name set and then make sure on the top right, you click on save workout. Okay, so again, I've got everything set up. I've got my title, I'm ready to save it. And then we are good to go. Now I'll show you how to do this on your phone. 
I'll show you on an Android. It works on Android and iOS, and it's pretty similar. So let's jump over there and take a look at that. On this Android phone, I'm gonna tap on the three bars on the top left, which is often referred to as a hamburger menu. On iOS devices, by the way, you would tap on more on the bottom right. So on this menu, I'm gonna to go to training. I'm gonna tap on workouts. And then you'll see, by the way, this beast mode workout at the top, that's the one that I created on the computer. So what's cool about this is if you have your phone synced to your Garmin account, then whatever you do on the computer like this, routes that you create or workouts will come up on your phone automatically. So the second from the top, I'm gonna to tap on create a workout. I'm gonna tap on bike. And then you have a starting point here. We'll do something similar like we did on the computer. I won't go into as much detail. But right here, I'm gonna to go to add a repeat like I did on the computer. First of all, I'll go ahead and tap on the X on the right side next to bike to get rid of this one since we wanna do a repeat and not just one interval. So yes, I wanna delete that, so tap on delete. Okay, so I'm tapping on add a repeat. Again, I wanna move this up a little bit. So in this block, you'll see these little bars on the right side, which again, I refer, refer to as a hamburger menu. So I'll tap on the top one, hold it down, slide this up underneath warm up. Okay, so warm up is already on lap press. Again, that's what I recommend because you can warm up as long as you want. Start your interval when you press the lap button on the bottom left of your Garmin. So the repeat is on two times. I'm gonna change this to three times. Tap on done, and then I'm gonna tap on bike on that section, and I'm gonna change the duration. So you can see where it says duration type time. I'm gonna leave that where it is, and I'm gonna change the duration. It's gonna, let's do four minutes. Actually, that's hours. So you can do days. If you wanna do a day long interval, go for it. So I'm gonna change this to four minutes. Tap on done. And then I do want an intensity target. So I'm gonna tap on a little toggle there and intensity type. This time I'm gonna do heart rate instead of power. So I tap on heart rate and I've got this repeat good to go. So again, this repeat, repeat is four minutes and then I've got an intensity, I've got a target and, uh, oh, I gotta change my target zone. Sorry about that. I wanna do this at zone five. Let's do zone four. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna tap on the arrow on the top left, and then I wanna change my recovery. So tap on recover, and then I'm going to set a duration of, let's do three minutes. And then I don't need an intensity, I'm just gonna spin easy. And then tap on the arrow on the top left, and for this one, I say we're good to go. Again, cooldown is on lap press. So whenever you press the lap button or the stop button on your Garmin, then it will stop the interval. So this looks good. So I'm gonna tap on save on the top right, and I'm gonna name this. So after you tap on save, then you'll be able to name it. And then we'll just call this, I'm to call it test interval. Get creative here, just for demonstration. Tap on save again, and we're good to go. So if I scroll, well, it's at the top, so most current at the top. And so those are my intervals. Now I'll show you how to get these over to your Garmin so you can do your workout. To get the workout over to your Garmin, you're going to go to workouts again. So I'll click on the hamburger menu on the top left, go to training, go to workouts. And now you'll see the workout that I created on the computer. So we've got beast mode intervals. So I'm gonna tap on it. And then the little phone icon on the top right, you're gonna click on that icon. And then I've already got my Edge 830 connected. So I recommend turning on your Garmin, getting it connected before you do this. And so I'm just gonna tap on Edge 830, click on done on the top right. And then I wanna sync it. So I'm gonna go back over and this time I'm gonna go back to my home screen, swipe over, and I'm gonna tap on the little icon. It's connected to my watch too, so I'm gonna tap on that icon, and you'll see that it's syncing now with the Edge 830. 
Once it is synced over, then it's ready to go on your Garmin. I'll show you how to start your workout. This is a Garmin Edge 1030. On the main screen, I tap on training, and then I go to workouts. And then I have the beast mode workout that I transferred over. I would just tap on it and then tap on ride and then just follow the instructions. Very similar on the Garmin Edge 830 on the main screen. I would just tap on training. Same thing, go to workouts, find your workout, tap on it and tap on ride. So that's how you create a workout and get it over to your Garmin Edge cycling computer. It's a very effective tool for training and one of the many reasons I love using Garmin computers. Any questions or comments, drop those below. Thanks for watching.